guys, Jared here. I'm going to show you a very quick video on how to get the Netlink adapter that's this bad boy right here online because it does indeed still work today online. So the very first thing you're going to need is one of these, obviously. It is a brand new Netlink. You don't need a new Netlink, but just make sure if you're going to get a Netlink, make sure you get obviously a working one and make sure you get some of this lovely stuff here. This is regular telephone wire. And you're also gonna want, which I don't have right here, I thought it was in my system. Sorry about that, that's okay. A little unboxing video here again, even though I already did one. Okay, so what you're also gonna need, very, 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 very important, is this, which is the Planet Web browser for the Sega Saturn Netlink, okay? Uh, if, this is only if you want to take your Netlink online. I'm going to do a separate video to show you how you actually dial out to another uh, Sega Saturn for some online multiplayer. But the original purpose of the Sega Saturn Netlink was to just get people cruising the uh, web from their comfort of their couch, okay? So, very simple stuff. If you look very carefully here, sorry about this, you'll see on this side it says line and this side says telephone. Okay, really, really simple. What you're going to do is you're going to take the telephone wire you got and you're going to put, if I can somehow manage to do this here, basically you're going to take this and put this into the line. Notice uh, See where it says line? You're going to put it in there. This one's only if you want to connect it to a telephone. Um, so if you actually have a phone like, hanging around, if the phone rings, you can pick it up or you can let the net link pick it up for you. All right? If you just want to cruise the web and see via a very old web browser, I, th I, I thought it was HTML 1.0, but I actually believe that this is 2.0 uh, compatible. Now, there are three different web browsers that uh, Planet Web released for the Netlink. This is the original one. So, if you just want to try it out, that's all this is. Because you can't really do anything with it, as I'm going to show you uh, in a little bit. So, um, yeah. Okay. Plug this in like this. Take the other, the other end, and you find your nearest phone jack. Now, this is what's really important. Most people don't have dial-up services. If you have DSL that runs through your telephone wire, do a little history with the company that's providing you your internet, and the odds are you might get lucky and they provide a uh, internet, uh, uh, sorry, a dial-up service. I'm with Bell here in uh, Montreal, and because of that, it's very easy for me to find their old dial-up phone number, because you need a dial-up phone number in order to do anything with this, okay? The way this works is the modem's going to contact your service provider, give your username and your password all through the, your telephone line here, and connect to the World Wide Web. Pretty awesome, right? So that's very important. If you don't have a dial-up service, you will not be able to get online with the uh, Sega Saturn Network. Now, next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your Sega Saturn, and right here, in the back of the machine, you're going to plug in your Netlink adapter, just like this, okay? Just wiggle it around a bit, make sure it's in there nice and tugged. Plug this into the uh, phone uh, jack, like I said, and then make sure, make sure, make sure, make sure you put in your web browser CD, and let's turn this bad boy on and see what happens. So the very first time you load the Saturn with the Planet Web web browser inside, this is exactly what you're going to see. It's going to tell you to uh, join some concentric network or whatever it was an old dial-up uh, service provider from years back. So I'm going to go ahead and click on No. 
Uh, it takes me a little while here. Obviously, I'm doing the voiceover after uh, after uh, having actually recorded the footage here. Come on, let's go. Click on the no. There we go. All right. There's uh, no sound effects or anything like that, so obviously I'm just playing some tunes in the background here so you guys don't fall asleep. Now, if you're not going to use the service provider that they provided, see all that information? That's what you're going to require. It's actually not as bad as you think. You put your real name, your login information, and your password. This is all provided to you from your internet service provider. I'm just going to show you the virtual keyboard quick, quick. I'm not going to go through every single step because it's going to be completely different. So just make sure that you have the telephone number that your um, dial-up service would, uh, would have given you, your username, your password, everything else, like for example if you want to set up email and things like that, you're going to require the incoming and outgoing server information. And if all of this is like uh, I'm speaking another language to you, then perhaps this is not the... Uh, you know the wisest uh, move for you to make this is pretty well only for the hardcore because there's no real like use here as you're about to see okay so I filled in all my information this is exactly what happens planet web boots up and you get taken to this really nice interface that uh, was created here you notice on the top it says excite help what's new mail I couldn't get my mail working it was taking forever to load look at this little city that was created in the bottom here I really like this where everything is broken up into different sections you have entertainment sports health games travel family finance etc most of these links no longer are active obviously but I thought this was cute but what's new and you're gonna see the modem messages this is where it's gonna dial out to my uh, service provider it's gonna send all of my uh, information and then it's gonna load the World Wide Web shocking uh, I think so let's just sit back and enjoy this Hey, would you look at that we've come to sega.com and there's sonic generations and a whole bunch of script and other BS that uh, the web browser doesn't recognize now guys you got to make uh, make a little like reality check here this was released in 1996 so I mean it makes sense you know all the new scripts and whatever aren't obviously uh, here now check this out it even includes bookmarks and a whole other bunch of different things as you saw when I press the start button you can go back home you can go you know all over see check this out it is, contains no HTML yes okay but uh, I checked on uh, projectcoe.com I checked all these different sites and absolutely nothing works because basically most sites are in HTML4 or HTML5 now but I did find one site that actually did work and it's uh, a blog that I go to called the digital bits um, it's really 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 primitive it was the only site I could think of that might actually load here and I just wanted to show the incredible speed of a modem that's 28.8 kilobits per second so let's uh, take a look here how long this takes Notice that uh, while the page is loaded, I can't really do anything until all the JPEGs load and what have you. But this does work. So if you know of any other sites that are, you know, really, really basic and primitive, well, why not uh, go ahead and give this a spin and see for yourself how it, uh, how you know, incredibly fast it truly is. Okay, so let's jump, uh, let's jump on ahead and switch gears here. 
So now we're just going to take a very quick look at the options. That's the overlay I was telling you about before, just for shortcuts and how to get to different things. So if we go into general preferences, this is the information you're going to need. I can't give that to you, it's from your ISP. That's for your network preferences, again you need the ISP phone number. And finally, mail preferences is your uh, server information and whatnot. And you also have themes, you can change the way different things look. And finally the time zone, but you know, that's not, uh, that's nothing too special that you don't know. And I have a surprise at the end here, I finally got uh, the email to work, so check it out.